Welcome to Riley's Gardening Adventures. Tonight the plan is... Vampiric. I'm going to taste a relatively new variety. Queen of the Night. Let's see if she can live up to her name. The first variety is Queen of the Night. Supposedly the queen of all black tomatoes. This variety is indeterminate. With 3 to 3.5 ounce fruits and a maturity of 80 days. The variety originates from Germany and is said to have a rich and sweet tomato taste. In my experience, Queen of the Night performed decently in my garden. The plant was resilient to herbicide drift and produced a notable yield, despite its small container. It's to be noted that the tomato produces purple fruits and purple-tinted foliage at first. Now it's time for the taste test. Wait, what? No, it can't be! Abraham Lincoln! The next variety we have is Abe Lincoln, named after the 16th president and my personal favorite. Abe Lincoln is an indeterminate type with 16 ounce fruits and a maturity of 80 days. Bred in Illinois, Lincoln's home state, this variety is extremely disease resistant for an heirloom tomato. It boasts resistance to early blight and octanaria. It is said to be slightly acidic with a sweet, rich flavor. In my experience, Abe Lincoln was a star in my garden. Despite being an heirloom, its performance matched the vigor and production of a hybrid. I had many scores of fruits from the plant with little to no signs of disease, despite many other varieties falling sick. Even without tasting its fruits, I have a feeling that Abe Lincoln has massive potential. All right, now it's time for the taste test. We got Queen of the Night right here and Abraham Lincoln right here. Um, there's some splitting on this tomato, but it should not affect the flavor. So let's get a good cut. Okay, right away. Oops, ignoring the nasty parts on the sides, the interior is pretty red, just like a red tomato. Quite meaty, very small chambers, and if there is, very small seeds. So nothing crazy, um, just meaty all around. Let's just make sure I cut off the weird parts before I bite it. Okay, now let's get a taste. Oh. Okay, I'm saying this texture is nearly identical to boxcar wheelie. Might be a little bit mealy, but yeah, the texture is not that great. It's kind of soft, very soft and uh, smooth. I'm hoping this is just a normal texture and there's nothing wrong with it. But flavor-wise, it's a little bit on the tangy side. Um, the description said it was supposed to be sweet, which I can debunk right here and then. It is not that sweet of a tomato. Mm. Mildly tangy at most, I would say that. And let me take one more bite. Not really a strong tomato -y flavor, but you will taste a mild tanginess. Um, nothing crazy. If I were to rate this, it's just simply a 3.25. It's not sweet as it describes. The fruit does look cool despite the little splitting I had. Um, the plant kind of grows kind of weird. But yeah, 3.5 for the flavor. It's not good. It's not bad. I would like the texture to be a little bit less soft. If it is mealiness, then that's on my part. But the flavor isn't cool or anything. It's just like, it's a disappointment, to be honest. Queen of the Night, you can skip it. Um, if you really want to try it out, it is an interesting tomato. Okay, now let's move on to Abraham Lincoln, a special heirloom. Now this one is supposed to be originated from the 1800s. Um, what a tomato, named after the best president. And also, it's just a nice classic red tomato. It, Let's cut it open. Oh yes, wow. That is a deep red that I love to see in every tomato. Look at that juice dripping out of it, wow. And the chambers, it has decent sized chambers, a little bit of seeds, not too meaty, but there is, I mean, it is still kind of meaty. But let's have a good bite. 
Mmm. Whoa. That is... Wow. Okay, I'm buying another one. I need to describe what I'm tasting. Okay. This is weird because it's juicy. The texture is great. It's, uh, it's juicy. It's smooth on the tongue. Not too chewy. Maybe the skin's a little bit chewy, but not that much of a problem. But it's not the texture that makes Abraham Lincoln amazing tomato. It's like a classic. The taste is like, like a classic tomato taste, but with like an, an unami meaty flavor. That is just interesting and weird to me. It's like I seasoned it already and I cooked it next to some meat. It's really flavorful in a unique way that's really, really pleasant to taste. And the juice just complements it. This the sandwich is the ultimate one to put with uh, when you're eating a steak or a sandwich or something with meat. This is the ideal tomato with meat. I would give this Abraham Lincoln at least, hmm, 4.5. Such a great tomato. The unique flavor would combine with the classic tomato taste. It's just wonderful and the texture is just great. Uh, way different than Queen of the Night. I don't know if Queen of Night's an error on my part, but Abraham Lincoln, amazing. Grow Abraham Lincoln. Not only is he the best president, he's one of the best tomatoes. And there's a cool movie about him, uh, Vampire Hunter. So yeah, stay tuned for more adventures on Riley's Gardening Adventures.